Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is an update on my uh, Arduino uh, emulator for the Dynamic Shark joystick. So that's the original joystick over there. And this is what it drives with now. Sorry, probably makes you a bit dizzy. But uh, that's just to say that, the, that it's working. So this is a wireless uh, joystick. It's a, it's a step towards uh, making something a bit more sophisticated with sensors and stuff. But I had to get the code right first. Uh, so um, for, you, for anyone that hasn't seen the other video, this is a Nintendo Wii a 2.4 gigahertz joystick. Uh, and at the moment I'm only using the joystick but it's got buttons, accelerometer and a switch as well all built in and a rechargeable battery and a transmitter and it only costs well, I don't know, it's under $30 anyway, it's not much so this is the transmitter this is the receiver here this plugs into the Arduino board this is the Arduino Nano board here this board uh, interprets all this stuff, all the all the uh, the uh, joystick movements. And you can't see what I'm turning around now. So it, it, it interprets what I'm doing here with my thumb. And there we go. Back, stop. And um, and that goes over to this. Uh, uh, what's this? The Max 485 board. And then there's some other jiggery pokery underneath. Uh, at the moment, it's running off uh, this USB stick, USB converter. Oh, it's a, it's a, you can charge your iPad or whatever with that. And um, and the power is just plugged in there, and the wires, the wires are there. So the uh, the, <coughs> the normal one, I don't know. I hope it'll be in line a bit tidier than this, but. For the moment, this works, and um, some of you may think, what's the big advantage? It's only over here. What's the advantage of having it wireless? Well, the Nintendo Wii, you can use it wireless, but this same code will run this with a wired, wired one as well. It doesn't have to be wireless, but I'm just, this is what I happen to have. Um, well, the advantage is, if you don't, find it very comfortable to reach down there or over there or wherever your joystick is, you can just sit this in your lap and drive. Except for it's just turned off. Anyway, so the idea is you can just sit a bit more comfortably. In, oh, that's what I've done. I've dropped it down here. No? Well, anyway. So that's Oh, I've pulled the, look at that, I've pulled one of the data lines out. Look at that, it's not going to work with the data line hanging in the air, is it? Anyway, once that gets figured out, so the idea is, uh, yeah, what am I doing? Right, yeah, so you'll be able to just sit comfortably and drive comfortably with your thing there. And um, off you go. Um, so this will eventually, uh, I'll, have, I'll have some sensors down here at my feet and they'll, um, they'll stop the chair if I'm going to run into a wall. Um, so if I just... Oh, stop. Okay. No. no, it didn't reconnect. I just plugged the thing in. Didn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, so that's it for me. It's working, the code's working, and um, so now I'm just going to make it a bit tidier and um, put it in a box. Pretty excited. I've been working over this for quite a long time. And that's it for me. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I can get back to you soon with a bit more improvements. Bye.